26 crazy animal attack photos. Welcome to Damn Nature, You Scary Saturdays. Number 26, loser buys lunch. Wanna bet on who won this race? The Croc or Chicken Little? No spoilers, but the loser bought lunch. Actually, the loser was lunch. Number 25, babes in blue bikinis with bananas don't mix. Okay, I'll admit, I'm not sure if this was really an attack per se, or if the monkeys were competing to be the first to slip her a $20 bill. Number 24, seeing red. This guy was minding his own sweet business in southern Spain in 2008 when he got in the way of this bull. This wasn't the famed running of the bulls in Pamplona, but safe to say, if you know bulls are in the area, don't wear red. Number 23, bird brain. Making up in courage for what it lacks in size, a common seagull attacked this white-tailed sea eagle above Norway. It managed to snatch some feathers and escape the bird of prey with its life. Number 22, be wary of the cassowary. They look kind of cartoonish, but cassowaries were once given the title of world's most dangerous bird by the Guinness folks. As the gamekeeper in the picture found out, these birds have extremely strong legs and the sharp talons can easily disembowel a human. Number 21, down the hatch. So this croc captured and killed its prey and then makes a point to gross us out by giving us a look-see at its food. Number 20, open wide. This croc was caught taste testing a zebra before it lunged for its meal in the Mara River in Kenya. Who knew crocs were so finicky? Number 19, Hungry Hungry Hippo. In 2009, this gamekeeper in Uganda accidentally disturbed a hippo during its meal and almost became its meal. A two-ton hippo can outrun a man and is known as one of the most aggressive animals on earth. For the record, the gamekeeper survived the encounter. Number 18, ready for his close-up. This fisherman in Australia had an extremely close encounter with a 12-foot saltwater croc. In his defense, he said he didn't know crocs were so aggressive. This after leaning over the boat and teasing the animal to get a good picture of it. Afterwards, the fisherman said he was amazed when the croc burst out of the water with such incredible speed. Well, yeah, they're kind of known for that, mate. Number 17, the grizzly man. This guy isn't actually being attacked. This is Mark Abbott Dumas, an obviously fearless animal trainer who is the only guy in the world who can touch a polar bear. The 800 pound beast clamping its jaws around his neck is his pet, Agey, and she's something of a star, appearing in movies and TV ads. Wonder if she's a method actor. Number 16, sit on it. An Asiatic black bear mauled this local villager in Indian Kashmir in 2007. The villager was with a group of men hunting the bear when he was attacked. After suffering multiple injuries in the attack, he did survive the encounter. Number 15, stop the madness. This is a gruesome picture and it does qualify as an animal attack. In this case, the attacking animal was a human who killed this rhino and then hacked off its horn. There's been a surge in demand for rhino horn, which is coveted for use in traditional medicines in various parts of the world, even though the horns seem to have no medicinal properties after extensive analysis. The people who do this sort of thing give humans a bad name. Number 14. A pissed off pachyderm. An elephant in Thailand went on the attack in 2015, stomping through shops and shattering windows. It also decided to use a car as a footstool while it decided what its next act of mayhem should be. Hope the driver had enough insurance for elephant damage. Number 13. A futile effort. This 32-year-old woman entered a polar bear's enclosure at the Berlin Zoo after climbing down a fence and getting past a concrete wall. And what was her reward for all that effort? She was immediately attacked by one of the four animals within that enclosure. A lot of high risk for very little reward. Number 12. 
Golden Eagle vs. Red Fox. Sounds like a great kung fu movie. These two animals staged an epic fight to the death in Mongolia, but the eagle won, with a little help from its trainer. In Mongolia, these birds are trained to hunt down foxes, because their thick coats are valuable as winter clothing. The Golden Eagle doesn't leave empty clawed, though. According to tradition, it gets the fox's lungs. Number 11. Hanging on. In 2014, a naturalist on vacation in South Africa snapped pictures of a massive crocodile clamped onto an elephant's trunk. It tried to drag the elephant into the water, but quickly realized it had bitten off way more than it could chew. Another member of the herd sent the croc flying back into the water. Number 10. It's all over now. In 2014, a young man in New Delhi was mauled to death by a white tiger in its zoo enclosure. The 20-year-old man had fallen into a dry moat that surrounded the animal's enclosure when the animal attacked and killed him just moments after this picture was taken. Number 9. Cuisine. This monster 21-foot croc in Kenya must have been in a hurry. After fighting off smaller competitors for its food, it easily carried along a 300-pound antelope carcass downriver, horns and all. Maybe it needed some more fiber in its diet. Number 8. Elephant v Hippo. Sounds like it would make for an epic steel cage match. But this contest took place at a private game reserve in Namibia in 2013. A mother hippo got too close to a bull elephant and he flipped her several feet into the air. She came away unharmed, having learned a valuable lesson about not pissing off a pachyderm. Number 7 uncontrollable edge. In 2016, an elephant went on a rampage at a religious festival in Kerala, India. Despite tossing around cars and vans and smashing them to the ground, no one was seriously injured. But it took trainers a few hours to bring the beast under control. It's believed that the animal may have been suffering from must, which is a kind of testosterone-fueled rage that periodically affects male elephants. Not so different from humans, really. Number 6 a serious takedown. At a South African game reserve, a pack of lions attacked a herd of buffalo. One brave buffalo charged into the pride of lions after seeing its friends injured. It managed to gore one of the lions, tossing it into the air and scattering the pride. But that was the buffalo's only shining moment. Other lions were alerted by the struggle and moved in to finish off the remaining buffaloes. Number 5. Giraffic Park. You see what happens when you combine dinosaur DNA with a giraffe? You get Giraffic Park. Okay, sorry, I know I'm late on that one, but I had to stick my neck out. Okay, so seriously, this was a real-life drama in 2013 that happened when the 13-foot male chased vehicles for two miles through the African savanna. Giraffe attacks are rare, but this male may have been experiencing a hormonal imbalance. Guys are funny that way, right? Number four. Party over here! Two elephants went berserk in southern India, rampaging for hours through a small city after wandering in from the forest. The pair of animals overturned cars, attacked animals, and killed several people before they were finished. The two elephants were finally brought down with tranquilizer darts and then captured. Number 3. Angry, angry hippos. This croc was trying to crawl over the backs of this group of hippos when he had the tables turned on him. The croc got too close to a mum with her calves, and all hell broke loose. Even the fearsome crocodile is no match for a group of 50 angry, angry hippos. But this croc's death would be avenged. Number 2 bad karma. Not often do you see a beast like a hippo get tossed around like a rag doll. This croc snatched a young hippo calf in South Africa while its mother wasn't watching. Maybe the croc was trying to get revenge after his friend got taken out by a mob of 50 hippos. See number three. Number one. Get the point. In 2016, this load of bull really stuck it to the matador. Amazingly, the guy suffered only minor injuries. But safe to say, this Peruvian bullfighter won't be sitting down for a while. You know, I've always wondered if being a matador would be a pain in the ass. Now I know. See you next week on Damn Nature, You Scary, Saturdays.